welcome to my channel. It's your girl May Muna here with you today. And today I'm going to show you guys how I made this really cool personalized jumper. If you guys really enjoyed watching me sew and make a dress from scratch, then please comment down below um, and I will continue to make videos showing you how I make things from scratch. On to the video. For this project, I'm going to use some straight dressmaking pins, my pattern pieces, which is a straight dress pattern. You can find one online in your measurements and some red sweater fabric. So first off, I'm folding the fabric in half lengthwise and I'm going to pin my straight dress pattern onto the fabric making sure the edge is on the fold. Then I'm going to cut the pattern out of the fabric making sure I cut accurately. I've cut two of them so I have both sides of my dress. I've opened the pieces and lined them together. I am pinning the shoulders together where I want to stitch them. Then I pin one side down. Turn it around and pin the other side. Yes, it's a lot of pinning but pinning is necessary because you don't want your pieces to move out of place when you start sewing. Getting more fabric, I'm going to fold it lengthways again and place my sleeve on the folded edge. I'm also going to pin my pieces for the collar and the cuff. Then I'm going to pin my sleeve together so it's closed on the side I want to stitch it down on. I've done this twice, so now I have two sleeves. Now to sew everything. I'm taking my time and securing my stitches in the beginning and end. When I use straight pins, I don't take them out of the fabric, I just sew over them. The machine skips over the pins so my needle doesn't break. To attach the sleeve on the armhole. This can be tricky, so I've taken my time with it. I do this on both my sleeves and with the garment turned inside out. Now I stitch the sleeves on. I've made my collar and cuffs and now I will be attaching them to my sleeves and neckline. I may do a video showing you how to make a collar and neckline in the future. Now let's move on to making our stencil. I've used a matte sticky back printer paper for this and I'm just drawing on my Arabic letters. You don't have to do this, honestly, just use a printer, but I don't have one. Then taking a paper cutter and a wooden board, I'm going to cut out the letters. I peeled off and stuck my paper on my dress, making sure it's positioned well. This is the paint I used. It's by Pebio in opaque white. This is quite a thin paint, so make sure you have a plastic bag inside your dress to protect from any see-through. I've had to use three layers of this paint and a hair dryer in between layers to speed up the process. I let the paint dry for 24 hours. I peeled the paper off straight away or else the paint can seep through the edges. I set a self timer for 5 minutes and ironed the back of the dress on the cotton setting to set my paint. So that's it. 
you guys thank you so much for watching give this video a like comment if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel see you soon